Good morning friends and yet another bow review. The last bow I got now from Sarmat Archery and this one is again from Sergei Tolochko. Sorry for mispronouncing your name last time. I was then in Tohoiko and then, yeah, no, but you know, it's Sergei Tolochko from Cardi's Bows and this is of course what we were all waiting for. This Manchu bow. So what you get is a nice leaf with this strap bow, a string, and usually you get this description, but for this bow it was not included, where you get all the information you need, so for this bow I didn't get it, but usually you get it with this bow. Wow, oh, look at this, a nice Manchu bow. What can I tell you? Not a lot, as there is not a lot information out yet. We get it from Summer Archery, it's a short Manchu, so then we can assume that there is a long Manchu too, so this is more like a Qinghai. Manchu bow laminated has a length of 60 inches and the brace head is 6.5 to 7 inches. This one is a 40 pound. And let's see what is written there. 60 inches has 34 pounds. 34 pounds at 28. Has a max draw of 34 and has a brace head of 6.5. So there's always everything written on it. That's yeah. So what do we have? We have a very elegant looking bow, for sure. A leather handle, nicely stitched. We have two small arrow passes. We have here a whipping for safety. Nice lamination. Then here a whipping, a nice string bridge. And then the long nice ears with a deep groove. Looks pretty sleek. But as we don't have a lot of information, we need to gather some information. Yeah, 61 and a half. Then arrow pass looking good, 23 millimeters or something. 23 and a half. Looking good, huh? Let's see. Mm, almost similar. Huh? Let's see how easy it is to string so we don't have a lot of flex in the handle going on. Only the CSO should be not too big of a deal and you have very wide string bridges. So, And it's a 34 pound. I don't know the poundage range because there was nothing written. I couldn't find the information but they will get there. So easy, see you only put it here in the string bridge. Down there it's still in the string bridge and you can let go. So stringing of this bow is easy. I only straighten the string. You hear the sound, so straight. Straight. Looking good, huh? Looking good. So this direction, good stiff. And in this direction, very stiff. I like this, very good. So we have seven inches, but I guess we shoot a few times and we go down to six and a half. The center serving is here. Yeah, it starts here and it ends here, so it's wide enough. Could be a little higher. The bow is something. It's not overly heavy. 430. 410. See how tricky. It's nice. So this bow is supposed to do 34 inches. Looking good. I only don't know the price, I know nothing, but you need to check then on Sarmad Archery's website or Kadi's bow's website. Oh, that's nice. So in the beginning here you need to overcome and then from here it goes back. <laughs> nice. So they are just 33 and a half or something. My Manchu style arrows from Fairbo in wood. Let's see what it does. Draws easy. Look at this. Easy peasy. Ho, 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 ho. Nice. So, draw 34, 34 inches. Seems like easy peasy. Now let's see, my thumb ring is a little too big today. I'm not sure if it works, but we try at least. So these arrows are 580 grain. 
like I say, if just a nice weight, I don't know, is it the recommendation of arrow weights? <laughs> It's too early. <coughs> so, kind of like this. Huh? Look at this draw. <laughs> nice. And it doesn't seem to be very. But you see, when you put the arrow here, you have one inch of uh, center serving left so if we could make the center serving a little higher would be nice wow wow <laughs> three center shots but the thumb ring is a little too wide so 465 grain. We are 34 pounds at 28. We see what it will be in full draw. Only to see what the boy is doing now. They are 32 inches, so they are not long enough. We oh yeah, then you feel it already in the hand. But still, <laughs> holy cow. Wow. And they are. 400 something, but they're a little longer. You know, these thin nano, it doesn't work with a manchu when that you have nano arrows, but we simply see what they are doing. Sacre bleu. <laughs> I like this bow. Even with these arrows, you feel it a little? You have a little, so with these arrows, they're a little too light with, but I really need to show you now. Out of the box, insane. So far, impressed, 30 meters. First, uh, this is only the center serving could be a little higher. Okay, that was wobbly. And you see that the arrows are quite heavy. But, takes a shot and you know what this bow is doing. Gives you really nice feedback. Look at this. <laughs> Impressive. 465 grain. Almost a little too lightweight then. Huh? You can do your high wrist grip. Look at this. Oh, that was a bad job, but I felt it before. So don't shoot when it doesn't feel right. You only work wrong on your muscle memory. Nice. So, and uh, bananas. Banana. Let's try torque. Not sure. Would not do it, maybe. Oh, goes through. Did you hear that? But they fly straight. Oh, <laughs> so bad shot. So let's see a little string twist. Huh? Very, very impressive. Holy moly. I don't see anything where there's the sun in my eye. 28 is here, 33.5 at 30. <laughs> Easy. 36.4, 32. And it feels like this boat does everything with ease. 32 is, we give it 40 pounds, 39.9. At 34, let's see, this bone is incredible, look at this, 34 is here, 44.2, 28, so completely no problem, huh? look so completely, this bow is like, <sighs> Thirty. 
don't see anything. 32. And see, beneficial with these long sears, aggressive sears. Look where we are now. Kind of like, yep, see, 32 inches, string angle. Then we have 34. Like this. And it's still not really something where I would think, Ooh, because look at this, it goes even further. So easy peasy, more than 34. So I guess the 34 is really a safe draw length for this bow. And it's a pretty bow, so look at this nice thin ears. So you don't have that much weight here, which brings you a little more speed. Maybe not this complete authentic looking, but it's more a Jinghai than a Manchu. The nice string bridges and the whipping here for safety reasons. I like this, not optically, but it makes sense. Nice wood, whipping, whipping. Nice leather handle, two small inlays here. Again, in a wood which we have somewhere, yeah. Like these knocks, we have this inlay, same dark wood. Really nice. Now we have the branding again. And of course, like always, the informative description here. Handle feels good. And the bow is still straight. Nice. What I miss so far is the manjo kick. It's not there. Or let's say at least not that pronounced. So 580 grain and we are at 40. I forgot another max poundage, but here we see what grain per pound we have. And it draws easy 34 inches, so there is nothing really. 173, 171, wow, 164. With these arrows, you feel it and it vibrates a little in the hand, it almost causes a little pain, but you still could do your high risk. Let's see. They're a little shorter, 32 inches, but even 32 inches with this bow is just fine. Let's see. See, 173. 179. There's 464. Constantly fast, but even with these arrows, I said 640 grain is a little on the light side, so maybe Sergei and Nikita, you want to consider giving this one a minimum grain per pound because otherwise, you really can damage this bow. So, curves I hold the bow completely upright and you see how the bow is looking like. Nice, so you feel a little. A little, let's see the kick. Really, only thing that the, the center serving is a little too low. Nice. You don't have to do anything with your left hand if you don't want to. Hmm. So, <coughs> 34 inches. a little too lightweight. Whatever technique you shoot, this boat does just fine. Let's give it a little cut and strip. Oh, 
little cut thread string twist and head center shot. And I need to shoot these ones too because it's just so much fun. It's really a fun shooter. So 32 inches is just a nice draw length. <laughs> It's just nice, but you can do easy 34 to Ooh, bad shot. <laughs> wow. And there's totally not a lot of handshake going on. One, two, three, four, five. But you don't feel it a lot in the handle. I mean you feel the vibration a little, but not too much. impressed let's see you could think with a 60 inch bow that you want to shoot it from horseback and you want to do your you know this is a even 28 inches fast Ooh, I think I Robin hooded my arrow so easy this way around you can make it work, yes, look at this, it's not so hard. It's always a little more fiddly. Short distance, it's not useful to shoot wood arrows in a hay bale. So, last time somebody asked again, because what happens now, if you have a manchu fletching and you put it on, look what happens is that you scratch your feather. Right, so when you don't like this, so what you can do is, when you bring on the arrow, you first hold it with index and middle finger a little away, until you pre-draw, until the feather is behind, you know, and then you can put it in position and, and let's shoot further distance, not that I break another one. Again, you pull forward, when you have it here, you put it here away, you see, then you have here a little gap. Doesn't have to be that much, only just that much until you come to pre-draw. Feather is behind, then you grab the bow properly and shoot so easy peasy. You don't have to mess up your feathers. Really, really nice bow. Very impressed. Only said that I broke one of my arrows. Doesn't kick like a Manchu, so impressive for only for this already very very impressive as long as the arrows are heavy enough 
there you have it I would say what an impressive bow so for me it's it's a macho bow but because of the length for me it's more like a Qinghai you know the, 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 the shorter version of the macho it's not that historically looking but this bow is incredible and I don't know what the price is now I guess 350 dollars or something wow we get bowstring sleeve usually you get this documentation I didn't get it but I assume you always get the documentation with it then it would be six points so I hmm? six the handling of this bow it's easy to string so this is not a even for a beginner this is like here the pressure is gone so you don't have to worry this bow doesn't fl want to flip or something you can easily control it string is in the center of the string bridge down there you pre-draw once you hear the dink and then the string is straight because sometimes it twists a little another string is in both sides straight then you're ready to go so easy to string easy to maneuver uh, bow is straight if nothing to complain Ten. the build of this bow is really really good but I mean we know it already now from Sergei Tolochko reinforced tips wide deep nice whipping here for safety reasons and nice string bridge looks really all like out of one you know this is nothing is added like by accident it everything means to be where it is these small arrow passes I like the leather handle is just fine you have a description on it the build is really really nice nothing to say against it Ten. basic feel this bow is stiff and this bow is in this direction very stiff which I like a lot so even step through method as you saw this bow doesn't twist at all so I think oh no 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 you don't want to do torque so it's not a torque resistant bow so manchu bows you don't want to do torque then it really starts twisting so no torque katra is fine or whatever you want to do but don't torque this bow so manchu bows don't like torque but still straight so not wiggly at all handle is just just nicer whatever however you want to hold it this is works in all ways whatever you want to do with this bow does just fine Ten. and now the draw experience this bow was out of the box you know it didn't need to warm up break in nothing 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, would do 35 inches. So there is no stacking and the draw curve is just incredible. Draw experience, wow. Okay. And the shooting experience, this bow directly out of the box I showed the groups. This bow gives you feedback. You know what this bow is doing. Even with different arrows, it's just like, wow only make sure that you have heavy enough arrows 460 grain with this bow is a little what did we have now 48 pounds or something full draw is already so 10 grain really minimum I suppose don't go any lower but I take 12 grain then it's not so fast anymore but this just feels nice and it's Manchu-esque and the shooting experience with this bow it draws nice it shoots nice and you don't have this really heavy manchu kick we don't have a lot of weight here so that's beneficial there is a little vibration going on you have it in the handle as we had now with all of his bows one two three four five six seven but this will be expected we have a string bridge and a string bridge and of course they the string is like and a guitar so this is what you get and for this I give you one point less but you don't have this extreme manchu kick you feel it a little so I'll give you first my point here 
it gives you 55. Price value I can't tell right now because I don't know the price, but I guess it will be something like $350. And then it's fully fine by me. If you like a little longer draw, 32 is a bit too limited, but you don't need the extreme 35, 6 inch, 7 inches of the big man shoes. You like to have it in a little smaller form factor, but you still want to do nice and easy 34 inches. Then this bow is really worth checking. So it's, this is really incredible. I directly felt good with it. it. Doesn't happen with all bows, as you know me. But that's me because I'm a bad shooter. Last time somebody wrote on the Korean bow, I shoot wrong. I need to draw from there and then down there. I am aware of that that the Koreans shoot like this, but almost all Europe does not like to see sky draw. And I don't even do it here, even if I am kind of a professional. But this range is 50, 60 meters long. If I do sky draw and something happens, then the arrow goes somewhere behind buildings. That's why for safety reasons, I will never do sky draw. Okay, good. But for the rest, this bow is, you can do everything here. You can do your, like like you see with Scott Rodell, he has a nice video of how to shoot this. The, wow. So this bow does everything in 34 inches. This is just a fine draw length and even 32 inches, these, these, these destroyer arrows, 32, just fine. And even 28 inches Mediterranean, this bow does everything you want, kicks the arrows nice away without kicking like a manchu. And this is what I like on this bow. Incredible. So, Sergei Tolochko, incredible work. Thank you very much for making these bows. Really insane. So. I guess after this video you will get some orders of this bow. It's really, if you look for something mid-range, 34 inches, it's one of them. And it's pretty. Of course, tastes and you know, it's not this Manchu-esque style and we know that and yeah, we know that. Really, really nice. Thank you very much for making this bow. Thank you Nikita from Samad Archery for sending them to me. Of course I paid for this one. Uh, I wrote everything down. That's all. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Catch you in the next one.